In this part of video, we see the behavior of inductive load and highly inductive load and put the value of C1, C2 and C3. in a case of shunt capacitor which is applied in a transmission line we apply the shunt capacitor to improve the power factor so go to diagram and put the value of conductor load this is for load resistance load click on it and put the conductor load i say 5 e to power 3 6 so go to power guy go to pool and steady state so you see the behavior of diagram when we apply a inductor load this is a sending and voltage receiving and voltage sending and current and this is a receiving and current this is a phase angle mean power factor so after that we see for highly inductive load so we increase the inductive load we say 10 e to power 6 apply ok so go to result click to distract you see the behavior voltage measurement sending and voltage is this receiving and sending and current and receiving and current so close now we check to change the value of c i say 10 minus 3 so go to result go to tools go to steady state so you see here when we increase the value of capacitor shunt capacitor so to receiving and voltage are very very small and receiving this is a sending and current and this is a receiving and current so we change the value of capacitor so i say one go to steady state now you see the behavior when capacitor voltage are greater mean 1 so receiving and voltage are very 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 small and this is a sending in current and this is a receiving in current this is the angle between voltage and current so we decrease the value of e to power minus 9 so click ok go to result go to code go to steady state so you see here it will improve the receiving and voltage so in this part of video we see a few inductive load highly inductive load and change the value of c1 c2 c3 mean shunt capacitor so we see that the result so this experiment is complete at end of my video please like and subscribe my channel for more video okay thank you